federal and local agencies rolled out an effort today to get every homeless veteran off the street. So this comes amid worrying numbers officials shared showing a 60% increase in unhoused vets in Clark County. 8 News Now reporter Joshua Peguero was there as officials painted a picture of the issues that are impacting local vets. They serve our country and fight for our freedoms, but oftentimes they can struggle once they leave the service, ending up on the street. We do not want to see any of our homeless veterans on the street. We want to put them in permanent housing. That's Deputy VA Secretary Tanya Bradsher, who toured the North Las Vegas VA Medical Center. She says the Las Vegas area has seen a 60 percent jump from 2022 to 2023 in vets experiencing homelessness. Based on a 2023 homeless count, which included the VA and Metro, the estimate was 912. We're also seeing those veterans that are placed on fixed or that are in fixed income environments having a harder time keeping up with the bills that they currently have. Part of the problem is a lack of affordable housing. VA officials expressed concern for the increase in the homeless population here in the Las Vegas area, but they credit local organizations that they're partnering with for helping the transient community. We are able to achieve functional zero, but we can't do it alone. It is a collaborative effort. Kelly Rupp of the VA is discussing a program aimed at having zero unhoused vets. Rupp says 69 of them in the last 90 days have spent one night in a shelter. When they are ready, we do have housing programs that we can place them into for transitional housing on a road to permanent housing. Rupp says they plan to use this outpatient van, one of only 25 in the country, to bring the care to vets who aren't ready to leave the streets. At the North Las Vegas VA Center, Joshua Peguero, 8 News Now. Now, according to the VA, veterans make up about 9% of the homeless population just here in Clark County.